So it ends Tottenham 4, West Ham 1. West Ham absolutely capitulated and were battered in the end. Stay tuned to the very end to get my thoughts on that win, what went wrong in that first half and how we came back into the game. So do stay tuned till the end. Uh, but if you're new to the channel, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. It's massively appreciated. It does help the channel grow. I'm on the way back from the game. Just a quick stop uh, at Tesco's to film this. Uh, I thought today... Uh, yeah, obviously, it wasn't ideal, was it? Go, going behind that early, I think yeah, we were really poor defensively for their goal. Unmarked um, once again, carbon copy, you know, same type of goal conceded every week. But we dug deep, and I thought we were really good. Uh, obviously, it was really important, you know, that we didn't go in at half time losing. Uh, the atmosphere was lifted a little bit by that. Uh, Papi Matisar, come on, half time. I think this was the game changer for Ange. Uh, you know, Ange talked after the game about energy. He has bags of it, and he's, he's right. We just had that little bit of calmness and control to the game. I like Madison. I don't think it was his best half. I don't know. I'm assuming it was tactical, not injury related that he did come off uh, but it just wasn't the, quite the right game for him Kulisevsky was kind of doing his job uh, by the way how good was, was Kulisevsky today yeah, for me absolutely player of the season he saved us once again that first half really really impressive really nicely goal his movement's excellent I'm running out of words to describe Kulisevsky so I was really impressed with him it's great to have Son back I thought he was really good in that second half uh, just a pleasure to watch and that goal where he skills uh, to Debo it's not necessarily poor defender he's just so good a classic Son goal if you like Dominic Solanke no goal or assist for him today, but I thought he led the line exceptionally. Everything you could want from a striker, despite not getting a goal or assist. May sound strange, but I thought he led that line well. Uh, his movement, really good. Hold up play, exceptional and you know, really creative. All our chances pretty much did come from him. I think Brennan was unlucky not to score today. You know, he done well, just didn't, didn't quite click for him. You know, players have days like that, so sadly his goal scoring form is over, but still um, a really key player and you know, just very confident you could see that so the shots that he was taking on so that's fantastic to see obviously I've said Kulisevsky I thought done well Basuma really good really calm his goal um, you know, definitely deserved and kind of summed up his performance I thought Poro was really good I mean yes there's always worries of Poro defensively and obviously Kudus and you know then West Ham that goal if you like uh, did come from that um, but you, you could question he's at fault for that first goal but we know he's you know like that defensively but I thought overall was really good really confident going forward um, and I just really like him offensively I think he's definitely one of our better players um, Romero very good passing really good tackling gets stuck in um, Vicario a couple of moments but no generally solid so that back line you could argue was unlucky not to keep a clean sheet but I don't think West Ham were good at all good defensively and kind of the second half yeah we kind of exposed the their weaknesses if you like we didn't put pressure on them in the first half they, they didn't even look strong then um, so for West Ham it's a lot to think about you and Locatelli because that is a good West Ham team the board have backed them in the summer uh, but it's whether he's the right man to take to the next level how much time do they need we've seen with Forrest, Chelsea a lot of players at once it does take time to gel so I think you've got to bear in mind both factors also I want to talk about Kudus's red card I think you know for some people we've been to question um, whether it's a it's a red card or not it's disgusting it's a clear red he's got to put a hand to Mickey van der Ven's face van der Ven's reacted to Kudus or oh, look like stamping on him yeah, we wouldn't leave him van der Ven has every right to be fuming uh, and I don't know how van der Ven gets booked in that situation the referee should have seen it clear push in the face I think that was poor refereeing by whoever the on-field referee was uh, but they are doing its job what it's there for and it's great to see more fan, your fans get that detail in the stadium a little bit delayed but on the big screens that's what we've been asking for and uh, not just the fans at home getting those benefits so that that's yeah, really good to see so no really good really impressed uh, at the time of recording back into the top six um, you know Believe in Ange, I think this project is exciting and at our very best like we were in the second half, even at times that first half. There's one in particular, Poro, amazing skill, nearly we, you know, went in, that would have been an incredible goal. So Ange, but at its best, with all our players available, is really, really good. Great to see Archie Gray get minutes at the end. Great to see Richarlison back from injury uh, and get on the pitch. So really, really good. And also a massive shout out to Oxford uh, and Dane Scarlett, who got the Oxford's uh, equaliser late against West Brom. Obviously on loan from Tottenham, uh, he's opened an account with them. So no, absolutely uh, fantastic. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. It's free to do so and it helps the channel grow for Premier League England and Tottenham content. Uh, so yeah, no, thank you very much and tune to the weekly show Monday, 7.45pm as we dissect this, should I say, and it looks like it'll be Callum hosting as I'm on a college trip. But for now, a massive common you Spurs, a great day, a London derby record. wasn't good, and possible because a London derby record until we come into this. So it wasn't a must-win game. Very clear, but for West Ham, a lot of questions. Up the Spurs.